And the whole Federal Reserve Bank itself is, is a vestige of the Bank of England. You know, Ben Franklin said that one of the primary reasons there was the Declaration of Independence was for the colonies to escape the Bank of England. The Bank of England and its central banking functionality and, and the, uh, the, the way it oppressed the colonies through its fiat money system was one of the reasons why in the Constitution it says no money shall be traded except gold and silver. This is what the founders recognized would be a way to defeat the, the central bankers. And then in 1913, uh, after several failed attempts, finally the Federal Reserve Bank was created in the U.S., which is really just an extension of the Bank of England and the European Central Bank and the Bank of International Settlements and the old world monarchs in Europe. As of 1913, America started to slip back into a monarchy. And now after the Bush years, you know, really the U.S. is under the thumb of an entrenched oligopoly or monarchy or aristocracy who, who's, who's basically just taking all the wealth that they possibly can out of the system. And, and the population, of course, is left in a very, very bad position. And they're, they're not really sure exactly what's going on. As I've said, they've been in a bit of a daze. But uh, they, they are now finally waking up to this. So it'll be interesting to see how that, how that energy vents.